Hello everyone, Dylan here with another LEGO Harry Potter review, and this time it is on the Billable Headway. So on the front of the box here, see LEGO logo, the board that we've seen since 2018, Wizarding World logo, the two mini things down below, then you see Headway build, but on a wooden table of some kind, and the wing flapping feature, of course. And recommended ages 10 and up, set number 75979, and has 630 pieces. Let me flip to the back to see another view of the wing flapping feature and how the head turns and also the dimensions of it. And, yeah. and on to the booklet. Oh, front of the booklet, so it's the same pictures on the front of the box and everything. On the back, I win on the online survey. All the pieces that come with the set. And the current wave of sets that, and limited availability, kind of like last year's did in the last building set, of course. in this set is of course this exclusive variant of Harry Potter himself of course and of course this which his appearance in Prisoner of Azkaban when in the snow area of course see with blue gloves obviously and closed up coat with Gryffindor scarf and all and face print same as from most sets and has the short legs of course and then the back towards the print, quite unique with some more of the Gryffindor scarf shown. And of course, scared double side face as common. And hair piece also quite common in most sets. And also included with this one set is which mini version of Hedwig, which of which common in most of the other 2020 sets, with the spread out wings, of course. And also get this a simple plate with a few jumper. There's a witch with this telescope piece that you can stand headwig on, and few jumpers to stand your hairy figure onto, obviously. And it becomes part of the stand of the main build, which we'll go over in a second. And now on to Hedwig himself. So Build of which are uh, quite great. So, I think the building process of which is pretty much just perfection. And, like, great use of all of these, like, curve pieces acting as his spots, obviously. Like the. So, for the round up is. So, for the base part of which, which uses a, some of those, like, a uh, brown corner jagged slopes and for probably to be like a one stand at to any part of Hogwarts desks or something and of course has a lot of like yellow and red uh, clear bricks but of course representing that of Gryffindor since Harry is loyal to Gryffindor but as for the front part of which which does have a stickered tile that says Hedwig on it, and also a single jumper on it, where you can mount your hairy Hedwig stand onto a horse. There's but anyways, also further on up, you get a little Hogwarts letter, of course, which is fully detachable and just a. Uh, 6x4 plate with a few tiles, which are all stickers, and that of which also a sticker. So, very few stickers are in this set. And of course, has the center one with the Hogwarts seal, of course. And so, for the feet of which, which are basic plates and all with 
those like odd tooth pieces in black. Although I think they could have used the larger ones, obviously. And that was for the wings, of which I think built pretty well. A lot of good snot techniques, of which hiding over the technic beams, obviously. And of course, a lot of those like corner uh, pieces is that are postable, obviously. And the uh, tail part, kind of the same effect, but also with some rounded parts of it. Although I think pointing also could have worked out, but I think roundness still works. And well, but also a good thing with on the back part of which is of course not very few exposed studs like on this back part of it and also for the lower back part of it and also the parts of the wings obviously. And also good use of those tooth pieces acting as other feathers of course. And onto the head of which. Which, oops. Sorry again. Which quite feels kind of like the uh, Cube Rose, which were Comic Con exclusive sets, but where it was corner or kind of effect. But in this effect, uh, which does work good, it's like good use of those under pieces acting as the eyes and also for the or rounded uh, plates. Also, uh, good use of that. And of course, another one of those tooth pieces, but perfectly for the beak, obviously. And as for the back part, and also, so how what this thing, what the crank here does is it perfect good gear function is turn it and his wings flap up and down. But make sure you do it counterclockwise. But if you do it clockwise, it does look kind of dumb. Like that, but I think counterclockwise is the much better method, even though sometimes it can kind of fall off a bit. Although you can add motor, add a power functions motor to it if you want to, to make it part of a large this one. But although it's what's kind of weak is how it kind of uh, bumps a little bit in the flapping process. Is if you can notice the technique beaming, of course. Also, if you look from the back part of it, then you see some of the gears kind of sticking out. But although from the front view, barely much noticeable, since of course front part is what kind of matters a lot. And what else is I going to say? Not much. Also, quite like how it's like curved or bent in a way since on some of the corner bracket kind of pieces and also mix of all joints of course and attach like so oh, which good use of pieces also good use of those well good use of those pieces as well although this tan gear I think could have been better in dark brown make it blend in a little more but maybe it's just there to be noticed or whatever. And so now, on to the final verdict. Overall, this I think a pretty cool set. To which, although kind of a bit like the buildable character sets in Star Wars, but now being introduced to Harry Potter of which. So this I think and well, opens a door for or some more characters of which, like the Niffler, Fox the Phoenix, uh, Norbert the Dragon, and uh, Cornish Pixies, obviously. Since Fox the Phoenix and Niffler, a couple of my favorite animal characters from Wizarding World, of course. Hedwig, too, obviously. So, as for the designing of which is pretty much just perfect, and, and wing flapping feature also works quite good. And minifig selection also quite good, like like obviously exclusive version of Harry, which we 
good all the time, but at least it's a much different kind of version. And, and but also this quite more affordable, like a forty dollar range rather than like higher for Star Wars and all. But I hope that if they do some more like this, I expect it to be that much low and all. And if you're looking to, and if you're a fan of Hedwig and you want to get this set, then definitely pick this up. And if you want something different to add to your Lego Harry Potter collection, also definitely pick this up. And that's about it with this video. Like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.